at Medihill Hospital in Nairobi, we meet 82-year-old priest Brambila Luigi. <laughs> Father Brambila is awaiting his discharge after recently undergoing surgery to repair his non-functional iota, an illness referred by experts as aortic wall stenosis. One day, it was uh, very serious because I was climbing a hill and then I felt losing, losing breath. I thought it was a question of practicing. And so instead of resting, I forced myself even more. Until going up a hill, I lose breath completely. Father Brambila, after receiving first aid, traveled to Medihill Hospital in Nairobi. Upon conducting tests on him, doctors determined Father Brambila's illness, which prevented proper and adequate heart function. They didn't admit me immediately because uh, uh, there was preparation to do. So I waited about one month, I think, and then I came for the operation. The process, which lasted about an hour and a half, is the first to be conducted in Kenya. Experts who performed the surgery here at Medhill Hospital say it was a last resort to save Father Brambilla's life. The procedure is known as transcatheter aorta replacement. It's called TAVR or TAVI, uh, which is a very good option. Uh, it is less invasive. Hospital stay also will be less than two to three days. First, we are opening that valve and uh, then again another system will be called navigator system, what we are putting for the coronary arteries. And that stent, when we position at the aortic wall, where we are opening that stent properly and it will get fixed there. Calcium deficiency, high cholesterol in the arteries, or heart disease are some of the major causes of aortic stenosis. Definitely rheumatic heart disease is the most common cause. It is while highlighting some of the symptoms that Dr. Vijay Sin Patil expresses his worry of misdiagnosis among the community. Patient develop breathing problem, chest pain or syncope or giddiness. There is chance of 50% mortality in next five years. Means among these patients, 50% patient will die if we not treated in time. Though not a widely prevalent illness in Africa, its repercussions are deadly if not caught in early stages. Aging population definitely is 7 to 8 percent uh, incidence is there. But younger population, rheumatic is around 5 percent incidence of involvement of aortic wall. So amongst 100 people, 7 to 8 people will possibly have the aortic stenosis. Not every patient is eligible for this procedure but its benefits are constant across the scope. What we are putting is a bioprosthetic valve and that will last for 10 to 15 years. It is having degeneration. So younger people we usually not prefer. Transcatheter aorta replacement is one of the procedures that continue to propel forward the health sector in the country, further promoting local medical tourism as opposed to people traveling to other countries such as India for treatment. We are here to treat you, the patients. So before going to the India and other parts, kindly check with us. We may provide you some solution in this part. For Father Brambila, who is very fond of mountaineering and cycling, he hopes to return to normal life soon. I am feeling very well. Ben Kerera K24, Health Beat.